Hey everybody, John and Susie here from startermomblog.com. Thank you for spending some time with us today. In this video, you're going to discover seven different ideas, seven different digital product ideas you can launch in a day, seriously. If you've been ever sitting down to work on that book that you might be four, five, six, seven months into and it's not done yet, you need to watch this video because the ideas we're gonna share with you are going to open up so many avenues for you to launch a product, launch a business quickly and successfully and even have huge advantages over the classic write a novel, write a book type of business model. Um, and if you're curious about anything we're talking about as we're going through this list, but you wanna know the exact how to on how to get it done, we just launched a brand new quick start guide. We call it the Little Product Launch Kit. And you can go to littleproductlaunchkit.com. There should also be description links in the description down below that details out so much. And Susie will talk a little bit more about it at the end of the video. So let's waste no time here and dive into the first one. Susie, what is the first digital product we can launch today. All right, so the first thing that you can go out and create right now and launch in a couple hours is the first thing that I almost started with was stock images. So like you can have that DSLR that's collecting dust um, or your cell phone. Like my parents recently took some pictures of us as a family and my dad was behind my mom with his cell phone and my mom was there for a nice DSLR and his pictures turned out just the same way as hers did. So for professional photographers, I'm imagining like that big equipment piece is better. But for quick, easy digital pictures, you can use your cell phone, go take some awesome pictures, use a program like PicMonkey or Canva, or um, I mean, there's so many awesome editing softwares online that's free. You can make those pictures really pretty, make them pop. You can put them all in a Dropbox folder and sell them. Like that is super simple and you can create like packs of like 20 to 100. So the more pictures you have in there, the more valuable it is, the more you can sell or charge for it. Also, if stock images isn't right your thing, like if you don't have an audience that would buy stock images, you can think of graphics too. If you can create some cute little icons or stickers or graphics and your audience are moms, especially homeschooling moms, they might wanna buy those stickers from you or those graphics so that they can create their own printables or use them in their classroom or in their homeschool room. All right, so stock images graphics is one of my favorite ways to create a quick digital small product that you can sell today. That's fantastic. Okay, number two is if you want to launch a course or if you want to be able to create some transformation in your audience at some point, the idea about sitting down and creating a course can be overwhelming. So this topic is kind of like the sampler platter, the appetizer to creating a course. And I love it for so many reasons. So this is actually a live virtual workshop where essentially people will buy tickets to sit down with you. And it could be a room of 20 people, a room of 100 people. It doesn't matter because what you're going to do is you're going to go live with them and teach through the concept, help them achieve some result that you can do in an hour to maybe four hours or maybe a couple sessions, whatever it takes to do it. The beauty of this is you don't need to sit down for months and create a course that you don't know if it's going to sell. You can essentially create a, a little outline, which we'll talk about later on in the list here, and that can be all you really need to get started. Then you can sell it. And you know, hey, if they don't buy my free live workshop where they can work with me, it might not make sense to go and create a 45 hour course on that same topic. And also, if you're not a professional teacher, like I don't think any of us started out as professional teachers, but it takes some time, it takes some iteration. Susie and I couldn't speak like this when we first got started in this whole game, but through iteration, you can do these live workshops. And if you like kind of fumble an explanation, like I might've just done a second ago, it doesn't matter because your students are gonna ask questions, they're live. It's not some pre-recorded content that might be boring, it's engaging, it's higher value than just a pre-recorded video could be. And then you can iterate, make it better, make it better. When it's finally perfected, you can sell that evergreen. So it's very low risk, very high reward. I love it. What's the next one, Susie? All right, so next one is, if what John just said, all those benefits you can get, but if you're scared of doing a three to four hour workshop, or maybe it's a little shorter than that, but you're scared of like, okay, I don't have the confidence to teach everything in that one day, you can spread it out over a 30 day challenge. And you can create a quick little Facebook group, 
have a limited amount of people that you want in there that creates some scarcity. And what you would teach in that workshop or in your future course or in your ebook, you can spread it out over 30 days in a special private challenge where you can be with your group of students for 30 days and you can teach a little bit every day. You don't have to go live every single day. Maybe you go live once a week. So that would be four lives. Maybe you give them a free guide, a printable as they can work through it when they're in the challenge. But launching a challenge to get your students from point A to point B, again, is that transformational thing that then can give you the confidence to launch a bigger product like a course or an ebook, or it's just a great way to test out your, your strategy. Like, does your, your method work? Do your people like it? You're engaging with your audience in that group. And that gives you testimonials. It gives you feedback. It, it's just this fantastic way to create that product if you don't even have it yet. And just on a little side note, if you're thinking, gosh, I don't even have an audience yet, how am I gonna launch these small digital products? You can use any one of these small digital products and instead of charging for it, you offer it for free. So think as we go through this list, if you don't have an audience, use this as an amazing freebie. On to you, John. Yeah, that's awesome. And also about the challenge, if you are one, we can self-identify if we're procrastinators. It's okay. You're in good company. If you commit to doing a 30-day challenge, you have to show up live. And you, so if you know your own personality. Like, what is right for you? Is it right for you to sit down for a month and create something and keep yourself to a schedule? Or should you put yourself out there? And if you're doing it live, you're doing it the first time, you know, make your money-back guarantee You know, generous. Make sure you help them because then they're going to be so... And grateful for you for spending so much time with them, you're going to fully hone in on your messaging and your future sales process. All right. So the fourth tool on this list is something that's near and dear to my heart. I came from corporate, uh, corporate America as an industrial and systems engineer. I was all about creating tools and calculators and forecasting methodologies, all these great things. They work really well in the entrepreneurial space as well. So if you can create a spreadsheet that helps somebody do something, if you can help them save five minutes a day or save a few brain cells from having to calculate things out by scratch, whether you're doing things with online business or in dieting, helping people track their macros or calculate their calories or recipes or organization, whatever your industry is or whoever you want to help, there's a tool out there. Just look at your phone and look at the apps that you're currently using. Is there a way you can convert the general idea into a super simple Google spreadsheet? And spreadsheets are great. Pretty much everyone in the world uses Google for better or for worse. I don't know if that's a scary future for us, but we'll see. Off topic here. You can make a spreadsheet, make it pretty, put some images in, put some instructions, maybe have a video that shows you how to use it. And then you can sell that spreadsheet where if you need to update something, you just update it and they can get the updated version. So it's a beautiful way to get launched. And this, like the hidden benefit here is courses and workshops and books and things like that. They all kind of presuppose that the person trusts you, the person wants to buy because they believe you can get that result. But what if, let's say you're kind of starting out on your own and you don't really have that no like and trust factor built up yet. Calculators are great because the value is directly in the calculator itself. They don't care who put the thing together if it does what it says it's going to do. It's a huge way for you to build up that trust, build up that gratitude with your future customers so you can then sell the courses and the workshops and things like that down the road. Yeah. On to you, Susie. <laughs> Thanks, babes. And I love the calculator idea because it's not just like an ebook. They print it out once and they use it. If they really like that calculator, they'll come back over and over again to use it. Say, for example, it's this meal plan that you help them put together and it figures out all the macros for the meal for the for the week. They're going to come and use that every single Monday or whatever day they do. So calculators and tools, I really like that. Maybe that's just because we're spreadsheet nerds. Probably. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Um, next one is done for you templates. All right. So you can create templates that your audience can then customize to their own liking and they can use it. Um, I can think of like pin image templates, printable templates, email templates, website templates, logo templates, um, homeschooling templates that you can sell to homeschooling moms that then can adjust that with maybe you have a customizable place where they can put their own kid's name in. And instead of they just get this generic template that they have to print out, they can customize it to their own child and they have multiple children. So they can custom, they buy it once from you, they get the nice little template and they can use it for each, each kid. So 
think of your audience. How can you create a template or done for you um, product that they can then customize to their own liking and then use? So. Awesome. Really and like if you're, if that's a little meta for you, Susie will explain at the, at the end of this list of exactly how you can get started with that. If you does, that doesn't even make any sense. Cause as I'm looking at it, I was like, I get spreadsheets, but done for you templates is a little bit trickier. So stay around till the end to hear more about how you can do that very easily and for free. All right. So the next one on the list is mind mapping. All right. So again, this is me trying to be both sides of the brain. I, in general, I like these very structured lists, but mind maps are hugely valuable. So basically, what is a mind map? So it's a way for you to break down a complex topic in a very structured and visualized way. So you know, you've got your little main idea, and it branches off to little sub ideas and sub ideas from there. And what happens after you're going through and creating a mind map over your topic, whatever you're an expert in, what you want to become an expert in, what that does is it looks beautiful, first of all. It also allows people who are not necessarily the engineering minds to still be able to get value from it, understand a great topic, almost the same way they would get from an ebook, but it doesn't require you to sit down and write hundreds of full pages. You're basically outlining out your ebook or your course or whatever your, your big product is, but you can actually sell that mind map itself for you know a reasonable you know, seven, 17, depending on, on how in-depth it is, Within the mind map, you can put links to different details. There's so much you can do with it. It's basically a framework for you to very easily and visually you know, sell information. And you can get feedback from that before you ever write your book. If people don't understand how one topic relates to the other, this is huge information for you to have before you sit down and spend you know weeks of time writing your actual books. I like mind maps. And if you don't know what those are, how you can use them, you can go to mindmeister.com. It's a tool that I got started with and it's, it's pretty fun. So I like I like mind maps a lot because I'm a geek. Oh, yeah. You, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> I think mind maps are fantastic because when people see them, they're like, oh, what is that? Ooh, that's like all these little bubbles and everything looks so cool. And it's like this one concept that's just completely visually explained. And I'm a sucker for mind maps. And I'm like, oh, I need that. That's going to help me solve my problem because I can't even see it all in my head. And having somebody else break it down for me is fantastic. So I love that idea. You just came up with that. Well, you, you've had that idea, but you shared that with me today. And I'm like, we should do that. I like it. All right. Last one. Woo. Last one on the list <laughs> is my favorite are printable packs. So what's a printable pack? It's a pack of printables. What's a printable? <laughs> is something that your reader, your audience wants to print out and actually use. The easiest thing that you can think of a printable is like a planner or a kid's activity sheet, coloring pages. Um, if you're in homeschooling niche or if you, there's just a plethora of printables that you can print out for kids that need to use it. Um, I was talking to my homeschooling friend and she's like, the reason why homeschooling moms like printable so much and because they buy once and they can print it out multiple times because they have multiple children. So they feel that they're saving or they are saving money because they don't have to buy the curriculum over for each child as they go through first or second grade. They can use that digital file and just print it all out again and then print out the copies of the pages that they like the most. So kids activity stuff, planners, right? Isn't that cool? It makes a lot of <laughs> sense. Um, planners for moms, homeschooling binders, um, we recently watched the Queen's, Queen's Gambit. Gambit. Oh, it's so good. It's so Love good. Now, it. we're, now we're playing a lot of chess. Um, <laughs> or we're trying. <laughs> um, you can even have like a printable of like the best chess openings. Sorry, that was just on my mind. Um, it's as very widespread going, use for that one. <laughs> <laughs> anything with chess right now, how can I involve it in my life? Um, if you think like holidays are coming up, you can create printables for that holiday. So people are starting to look for activities for their kids. What type of printables can I create for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, for the new year? Um, just saw a book on Amazon, which I think is fantastic. It's a gratitude journal for kids. And I'm like, Ooh. oh, that gives me all the good feels. I want to print that out so that my daughter can every morning do one sheet and she can do a little gratitude journal. And it's just a little picture. It's a little thing that she writes. She checks marks the date. So it teaches her like the calendar system. Um, so think about printables that you can create for your audience to help them in their life. So many transformations. All right. So that was the seven things that we went over. Do you just want to like quickly recap them again, John? I yeah. just the names. 
Right. Yeah, absolutely. So number one, stock images. Number two, doing a live virtual workshop. Number three, having a 30 day or some sort of time bound challenge on Facebook. Number four, creating a tool or a spreadsheet or a calculator, or something to help your, your audience with. Number five, doing done for you templates. Number six, a mind map to pre-sell your big signature product. And number seven, a printable pack to be able to do all kinds of fun things with printables. So especially with that last one, Susie, like printable packs, if people don't know what that is or how they can get started with it or the steps to actually go, because this is the product, but how do you actually launch it and do all that? Do you have anything to tell us about this real quick? Sure, sure. <laughs> like a bad commercial. <laughs> I know we're we're not really good. Um, yeah, so we have a product called the little, little product launch kit. And how do I go ahead and share it with you guys? Okay, what it is. So for twenty seven dollars, you can get this little product launch kit. Um, it has the hundred smart steps that will walk you through everything you need to do to launch a little product, right? So it's going to show you. You can go through a little checklist here in our calculator. Um, or in our spreadsheet to make sure that you're not missing anything. It has blog post templates to help you write your blog post faster if you wanna promote your little product. It has an email sequence so that you can sell it without feeling salesy. Um, you can use the, the techniques that I've used over the years to have grown our business to a beautiful amount, um, but without being really pushy. Also a sales page template. So if you're going through this list and you're like, okay, that's the little product that I wanna create, I'm scared, I don't know what to put on my sales page. I show you exactly what I do on my sales pages and they sell automatically. Um, you can also use those techniques that I use on my sales pages in the little product launch kit for your free pages. So even if you're using one of these products as a freebie to grow your email list, if you don't have an audience yet, use the same techniques and treat your freebie like a product so that your freebie page converts better. Um, and then beautifully, the little product launch kit comes with product templates. So you get an ebook template, you get printable mockups, um, you get the templates for the mockups, and then you have right here, it's a little small right now, but on this image, um, that image, that hero image that you put on your sales page or your landing page to increase conversions. All right, so if you guys, you can go through this page, go to the littleproductlaunchkit.com, Check it out. It's super simple, super quick to get started. It's a bunch of templates so that you can use them right now and launch a product. You can use one of the printable templates, use the email sequence, use the sales page template, and boom, launch it in this afternoon. Um, so that's it. If you guys have any questions on the Little Product Launch Kit, leave them below. We're happy to answer them. And we hope to see you guys grow your, your business selling digital products. It's easy, it's simple. If you're not at the point yet of selling them, use digital products to grow your email list and grow your audience. Um, even if you have a physical business, and this is what I'm kind of like hoping my brother would do one day, is use a digital product to help him build the list that then goes into his physical product because you never run out of inventory with a digital product. So there's some so much beauty in it. Awesome, yeah, so thank you guys for joining up. We have hundreds of people here live right now. If you're watching this as the replay and you wanna be here live, be sure to subscribe to our channel, click on the little bell to be notified when we do go live or post new content and leave in the com in the comments here what you think of the little product launch kit and what pro printable or digital product you would create next. I'm John, this is Susie from Starter Mom Blog. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.